Hello and welcome once again to SchoolofFlash.com. In today's video tutorial, I want to show you how to use the bone tool. Now you'll notice that things have changed in the video a little bit. Instead of compressing our entire Flash program into one little window, uh, that makes it really hard to see, and I got a few complaints about that, understandably so. Uh, instead of doing that, you'll notice that as I move my mouse cursor around, uh, the viewing area of the video will move around as well. This will allow me to uh, to zoom in a little bit on the stage in order for you to be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. So hopefully this will work better and hopefully you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing here. Now what I want to do in this video is show you very quickly, very briefly, how to use the Bone tool in Flash CS4. This is one of the most exciting features of, of uh, the new release of Flash and it's fairly easy to use. Now the Bone tool allows you to create what's known as inverse kinematics in Flash or IK. Uh, IK is a way to create uh, bone structures where you can attach multiple objects to each other. Uh, for example, if you're creating a character animation and you want some, uh, like your little character to walk across the stage, then you would, you know, construct your character, uh, break it apart into multiple movie clips, so you'd have a part for the upper leg, for the lower leg, for the foot. You'd have different movie clips for each one of those, and then using the bone tool, you could actually attach each one of those together so that when you move the foot, when you click and drag on the foot, the rest of the leg will kind of move along with it. So it's a very handy tool, and it's, it's quite easy to use as well. So let's take a look at the bone tool. Let's construct a just a simple shape here. I'm going to use the oval tool and let's actually turn off the stroke and our fill will just uh, uh, choose a random color for the fill and I'm going to draw a circle here on the stage. I'm going to hold on to shift so that it stays a perfect circle here and then I'll hit V to switch to the selection tool, click on that circle, hit F8 to convert it to a symbol. So we'll make that a movie clip symbol We'll call it circle, and we'll click on OK. Now, for the sake of ease, I'm just going to click on this, hit Control C to copy it, and then Control Shift and V to paste it in place, or Command Shift V on a Mac, and then we'll move that new copy over. So I'm just going to copy and paste in place over and over again until we have a row of circles. and that'll work, that's enough. So we have a row of five circles here and I want to link these together with the bone tool. So we're going to come over to our toolbar and the bone tool is located right here, it looks like a bone. You can either click on it or get to it uh, by hitting X on your keyboard. With the bone tool selected, you'll notice our mouse cursor has changed. I'm simply going to drag from the center of one circle to the center of the next and you'll notice that it creates this little bone. Now, I'm going to hit Control z to undo that. This is going to be a little bit easier if we come down here to the bottom of our toolbar and turn Snap to Objects on. It's this little magnet icon down here. Let's turn that on. That way when we actually do this, it will snap right to the center of each object. So we'll click in the center of the first circle and drag to the center of the second, and it should snap right to it. So we've linked these two together, and we can see that little orange bone connecting those two shapes. Now we're going to start from the second one, click and drag over to the third, We'll click and drag over to the fourth, and then click once again in the fourth and drag over to the fifth. Now, uh, that's really all we had to do, and now all of these circles are linked together. So if we come up here to our selection tool, and then just click on one of these circles and start dragging it around, you'll notice that all the other circles are moving with it. And we can create some more complex structures than this if we wanted to. Uh, let's hit Control v to paste another circle, uh, and first we need to create a new layer. So let's come down here and uh, let's actually go down to layer 1. You'll notice that when we, uh, when we connected all of these circles together, it put them on a separate layer, and it called that layer Armature 1. Every time you create a bone structure, it's going to add it to a new layer, and it's going to give it a name of Armature underscore and then a number. And you'll see that layer icon has a little running man on it. Let's lock that layer. Let's make it invisible. And we'll go down to layer 1, and uh, that circle should still be on our clipboard. So if we hit Command-V to paste it, there it is. So let's create something else. Let's paste it again. And this is going to look really bad, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
let's say that we have a little man that we want to create that's made up of circles. So he has a head, two arms, a leg, and a torso. I'm sorry, two arms, two legs, and a torso. And uh, so this represents a very simple man. Obviously, you would take a lot more time uh, creating this character, but we can now come over to our bone tool. And we want uh, this center circle here, the torso, to be the anchor point. So we're going to start dragging out from that one. So I'm going to click in the center of that one, drag up to the head. We'll click and drag over to the right arm, or the, actually the left arm. Click and drag over to the right arm, to the left leg, and to the right leg. And now we can actually come up here, use the selection tool, and move any of these shapes around, and you'll notice that they, that they do stay connected. And if we have more shapes here, if we jump down to layer 1 and add a couple more shapes, we'll hit Control v once, and uh, let's click on that circle we just pasted and drag it down here. Control v again, we'll drag that down here. So now our legs are going to have a joint in it. Let's go ahead and drag this up so that they're kind of touching a little bit. And then we'll go back to the bone tool. We can hit X as a keyboard shortcut to get to the bone tool. And then we can click and drag from this. Uh, well, first of all, if we hold on to control and click on any, any one of our shapes here, we can see that, uh, that bone structure again. And then if I click on this, what used to be the bottom of the leg and now serves as kind of the knee, we can click and drag down here. And we'll do the same thing for the other leg. So now we've created a more complex structure, and if we have, you know, four arms as well, then this joint right here might serve as an elbow or something. But now we can actually hit V to switch to the selection tool, and we can click and drag on any of these, and you can see that that moves the leg around. And it's very easy to animate. All you have to do is start your character in one position, and then on this armature layer, we can just click and drag out once we get this... Um, two, uh, two way arrow here. We can click and drag out however far we want this animation to last. So if we want it to last a second, we'll drag it out to frame 24. And then in frame 24, we'll just click and move it to a new position. So let's say in frame 24, we want the arms higher and we want the legs out to the side, like he's been jumping or something. And then if we want, if we wanted to move this entire thing up, we could highlight everything and then just use the arrow keys to nudge it up. So now, as we click and drag across on our playhead, he's jumping up and down. Now, we can't see that because of the way this uh, recording area is moving around, but if we test our movie by hitting Command-Enter, we can see that animation occurring over and over again. And that's how you animate using the Bone Tool. Uh, so hopefully that gives you enough to at least get you started with the Bone Tool. It's a very fun tool to use, especially if you like animation. Um, and you can use this for more than just characters. You can use this for... Uh, mechanical type animations as well where you have different parts that are linked to each other uh, but again hopefully that will get you started using the bone tool uh, there are other uh, tools tied to the bone tool such as the bind tool but but uh, we might do a tutorial on that later uh, for now that wraps it up so thank you so much for watching uh, feel free to visit schoolofflash.com anytime for more great tutorials and I'll see you next time